Hi, this is Pedia Berserk Arcade at BerserkArcade.com and this is tutorial 195. So where we left off in our last tutorial, we had just gone ahead and I finished the hair uh, for saving in game settings too. And now I want to move on to uh, some of the old save file or save techniques that we have before. So saving of the name, uh, loading of the name, the save attributes, and uh, what else do we have here? We had attributes, vitals, and skills, I believe. Yes. And in order to get to those, we're going to have to switch back to the other scene where we actually generated uh, stats for our character. So that was my character generation scene. And right away, I'm just going to get rid of this game settings. So let's just delete it. Uh, the way we actually are doing it now, we can actually get rid of even the PC the empty PC thing we needed, but we won't for now. I really don't want to go through and rewrite the script just yet, so let's start it up. It probably all still works uh, until we actually try to save, so let's see what happens. And we'll just do like the usual, we'll just give them tons of constitution. <laughs> and now when we save, I believe it's actually going to air on us, because it won't be able to find that one script it's looking for, so we start it up. And we get an all reference. So let's see. Uh, that opens up the script character generator. And right here is where we are displaying our create button. And what that does is it goes out and it looks for our game settings. It calls the update vital values. And then it goes into our game settings script and tells it to save the data. And then it just goes on to load the next level. Uh, we don't actually have to go out and look for it anymore because we've made static functions for it. I'm going to make a quick comment here. Uh, change this in tutorial number 195. So people following along that are still behind and actually bought the scripts will know. I'm actually going to put a few asterisks in front of it just to catch their attention a little bit more. see we still want to call this uh, this is going to be changed as well so I'm gonna paste this down here and well let's just start off with the name I'm actually gonna comment this out as well because I don't want it to be loading up and going to the next scene just yet uh, I want to add some debug and see what happens so up here we're gonna say game settings to dot save name and we're going to have to get the name uh, so uh, looks like we're calling our thing tune Let's see yep tune is the actual script that we're grabbing so we could say tune Uh, dot name probably yes right there and we'll save that off let's go back in and see what happens actually let's actually debug log out how uh, the value that is saved and we actually haven't filled in this function so nothing's actually happening game settings two dot load name And we're going to game settings two, scroll down, uh, save name. Uh, we'll just go ahead and actually cut and paste our old one. If I find it quickly, yeah, it's right here. Well, that's the get string. We actually want the, well, we'll copy and paste this because we do want to be able to load the name. And we'll just say return. Player prefs, and we're just going to call it player name. So I'm going to cut and paste this string up here into a constant. And we'll paste the name of that constant down here.
and this is the default value if it can't find a name and I'm actually going to change it from name me to Anon for anonymous and then we actually need to save one as well and I just don't feel like typing so I'm going to come up here and just cut and paste it It's right up here. I almost put it the wrong spot. So player press dot set string. So we're setting a string. The string we're going to set is name. And what we're going to save is the string that we're passed in right up here. Let's scroll this up a bit. I haven't added any comments for these functions yet. Uh, but if we save those off and actually go check, they should work. So let's just start it up. And I'm actually going to have to put some values in. Uh, let me see. I think we have a repeat speed. Well, it's actually pretty quick. Yeah. So we have our next button. We hit next. And it says PD because I didn't actually put a debug statement in there. Uh, but that's what's, what's coming out from our load statement. And if we really want to see what's in there, I believe I do still have it open. Uh, I do, right here. So if we open this up, uh, it's going to open Xcode again, uh, which is fine. Anything you have to view a plist, well, I guess on the Mac it's different. You're going to have to look in the registry, so you're going to need some sort of regedit tool. But anyway, here's what I'm looking at right now. And of course, here's the last hair uh, I saved. So everything there looks fine. I'm just going to shrink this down because I probably will want to load it up again. So let's head back into our script, uh, game settings two, and next on the list is to save a single attribute. So let's go in here and take a look, see how we were doing it in here. Uh, so let me see, attributes were right here. So we had a for loop which we just went through and saved it according to uh, the attribute name. Uh, we added the base value and the experience to level. Okay, so we're going to need two strings for this. So let's start filling that out. I'm actually going to cut and paste this. Just this part, since we're just doing a single one. And we'll just use it as a template. So we're going to take the attribute name, uh, which is being passed in. And we should be able to call that. So we're going to take and see the CNT, switch this to name. So that converts it to a string. And for base value and exp level, I'm actually going to add these up here as constants. just to make sure well we don't actually load them up according to that well yeah we'll just make them constants up here and I haven't filled the constant out obviously and exp level I'm just gonna say exp level and well I'm not sure what they are right now but I'm going to change them so we'll just say base value and exp actually you know we'll change it just to make it a little more descriptive of what it actually is all right so we'll come back down and We'll concatenate that on. So this was base value. Uh, this is going to be exp to level. And I'm actually going to put a space in front of both of them uh, just so it's a little separated here. Well, maybe not a space. We'll, we'll stick to the, the hyphen technique. that we had uh, down here. 
So I think when we're loading up, uh, were we parsing on that? Oh no, never mind. It's, it's the actual uh, th the string name. It's oh sorry, the key name. So it doesn't really matter. But we'll just keep it the same anyway. So we'll scroll up here. Uh, that should be done. We have to change. Uh, we're being passed in an attribute, so we're actually going to have to get the value of that attribute. Or so for here, for it's going to be the base value. So let's just move this over. We'll say attribute dot, and we should just be able to call the base value. And we'll get rid of this. And I think it presents a lot cleaner code for us doing it this way. And base value again. Oh, I'm sorry, not base value. We need EXP to level. And we'll just get rid of this. It's at the end. And I'm also going to want to load an attribute. So we'll get that done as well. Well, let's just test off. We're almost out of time here, so let's just see if it's actually saving the attribute. And character generator, I'm going to save, oh, strength. So we'll come up here, and we'll just say save, oops, sorry, not save, game settings, two, dot, save attribute, and then pass it in the attribute we want to save. Actually, I forget already. Uh, we're passing in uh, the attribute name and the attribute. So we need to get the attribute name and the attribute. So we can say attribute name dot, and I did call it might, and then uh, the stat or the attribute. So we can get that by saying tune. I'm sorry, that's an underscore dot get attribute I believe get primary attribute and then pass in the actual attribute we need now we probably actually already have this done over here uh, this was actually to get vitals uh, let me see where we have the attributes right up here so we get primary attribute and CNT so we have to convert this to an integer is what it wants so we type cast as an int and we say attribute name dot might. And that should be good to go. Uh, let's just save it off and try it out. Uh, we've got no errors, so we'll just clear. Start it up, give him a name. Let's change his name. Let's call him oh, Pope. And well, we'll actually increase the might a bit. And we'll throw the rest in constitution. So the base value is 64. And of course, experience level should be zero. So we'll hit next. And it's just show me what the name was. And if we go ahead and open up that file again, uh, we have might base value 64. And the experience level is 50s, which is what it's supposed to be. So let's close that down. I'll shrink this down. We'll head back into Mono Develop. And it looks like we're already over 14 minutes. So I'm just actually going to save this one off here and we'll pick it up where we, well, where we left off. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.